When you are watching a TV show, oftentimes you find yourself thinking, wow, I'm glad I don't work there. Workplaces in television are frequently less than ideal for dramatic or comedic purposes. On occasion though, there are workplaces that do seem like they would be fun to work at. Sure, you don't want to head into Dunder Mifflin's Scranton branch and deal with Dwight and Michael five days a week, but here are five television workplaces that we wouldn't mind applying to. Number one, KACL. The radio station where Fraser Crane, Bob Bulldog Briscoe, and others work at seems like a solid place to be. One, we get to work in radio. And also, they offer an eclectic selection of talk radio shows, so whatever your interests, something should work out. And they must offer great pay. Have you seen how nice Fraser's place is on a radio host salary? And the dude has been divorced multiple times and has a kid. Number two, Cheers. Let's go with Fraser's old Boston hangout before he moved to Seattle and did the whole radio thing. We never want to work at, say, Patty's Pub from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Cheers, though, seems like a solid bar. Then again, only Sam seems to ever be working there on the bartending shift and we don't necessarily want to bar back or wait on tables. Maybe Sam will let us have some weekday afternoon shifts or fill in for him when he's on one of his many dates. Number three, WPIV. A lot of people want to work at television. We thought about TGS with Tracy Jordan from 30 Rock, but that seems like a pretty toxic work environment. Instead, we'll head to WPIV. Sure, it's not as glamorous. The station from New Heart is a local operation in Vermont as opposed to a network TV show with an office in an iconic New York building. It seems like a better place to work though, provided you can deal with producer Michael Harris. Number four, the court from Night Court. Okay, so this comes with a caveat. We'd only want to dip our toe in this world. Working in the court from Night Court for too long would be a drag. <laughs> It is a, uh, you know, night court after all. However, imagine being a lawyer who used to try a few minor cases in front of Judge Harry T. Stone. Bull is there. You're going up against Dan Fielding, a truly insane man working as a lawyer. It would be a fascinating experience. You build up a lifetime's worth of stories in a month. Then you dip out before it's too late. And number five, the Los Angeles Tribune. Let's pay tribute to the late Ed Asner. He was fantastic as Lou Grant on the Mary Tyler Moore Show, but we don't need to double up on television jobs on this list. After the Mary Tyler Moore Show ended though, Asner got his own show, Lou Grant. There, he went from television back to his roots in print, taking over as an editor for the fictional Los Angeles Tribune. Grant always seemed like a tough but fair boss, and he wanted to make the paper as good as he could be. Asner won two Emmys for Lou Grant, and his quality acting showed up in the quality of what kind of boss Grant would be. Sign us up. Do you think we forgot any great places to work? Are you mad we didn't mention the Krusty Krab even though you could never work in a place that small that's also underwater? Ah, we're sorry for crushing your dream there. Let us know in the comments, and for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Vents Magazine YouTube channel.